Prepared Samples T-Test Using the Microsoft Excel Analysis Tool Pack The Pair T-Test is a statistical analysis method used to test the null hypothesis that the means of sample of the population observed at different conditions are equal. The paired samples are also called matched samples, or repeated samples. This guide teaches you how to perform a paired sample t-test, with the use of the Excel Analysis Tool Pack. For our specific example, we will use the data from weights of clients before the health program begins, and three months after. This analysis would determine whether the health program is effective. In this case, here is the null hypothesis, stating that the mean difference of the paired observations, is equal to zero. While the alternate hypothesis, says that the mean difference is not equal to zero. To conduct the t-test, make sure the analysis tool pack is activated in your system. To load the analysis tool pack add-in, execute the following steps. On the file tab, click options. Under the add-ins menu, look below the inactive applications add-ins. Select Analysis Tool Pack and click on the Go button. Then click OK button. When this dialog box appear, make sure to check Analysis Tool Pack tick box and click on OK. Now that the tool pack has been added, you may click on the Data tab menu. Then in the Analysis group found in the far right side of the menu, you can now click on Data Analysis tab. After selecting the Data Analysis tab, the following dialog box below appears. From the choices of different analysis tools, select the t-test pair 2 sample for means. Click OK. Let's input the data for weight of clients before the program. To do this, click in the variable 1 range box, and select the range cells from A2 to A9. Let's input the data for weight of clients after the program. To do this, click in the variable 2 range box, and select the range cells from B2 to B9. Then, click in the hypothesized mean difference box, and type 0. Next, click the Output Range Option button, then click in the Output Range box, and select cell E1. This provides the location placement of the resulting output. And then click OK. Check out the chart output results for the t-test pair 2 sample for means. Here, we are provided the mean, and variances, for both variables. Also, there are results for the t-value, t-critical, and p-value. The decision rule is, if t-stat is greater than t-critical, we reject the null hypothesis. Since, 
8.656 is greater than 2.365. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. This means, the observed mean difference between 215.625 and 198.625 is convincing enough to say that the average of weights of clients before and after the program differ significantly. We can conclude that the means of the paired sample observations differ significantly. Let's have another example. In this case, we will use the data from the results of measurements of the control setup and experimental setup. Again, the null hypothesis here states that the means of both are equal, while the alternate hypothesis says that they are not equal. Again to perform t-test, execute the same steps as the previous example. On the data tab, in the analysis group, you can now click on data analysis. After selecting the data analysis tab, the following dialog box below appears. From the choices of different analysis tools, select the t-test pair 2 sample for means. Click OK. Let us input the data for observations from the control setup. To do this, click in the variable 1 range box, and select the range cells from A2 to A9. Next, let us input the data for the observations from the experimental setup. To do this, click in the variable 2 range box, and select the range cells from B2 to B9. Then, click in the hypothesized mean difference box, and type 0. Next, click the Output Range Option button, then click in the Output Range box, and select cell E1. This provides the location placement of the resulting output. And then click OK. Check out the chart output results for the t-test pair 2 sample for means. Here, we are provided the mean, and variances, for both variables. Also, there are results for the t-value, t-critical, and p-value. The decision rule is, if t-stat is greater than t-critical, we reject the null hypothesis. Take note, we should treat negative values as their positive counterpart. Thus, if the absolute t-stat is greater than the critical t-value of reference, we must reject the null hypothesis. In this case, since 9.553 is greater than 2.447, therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. The observed mean difference between 27.86 and 32.71 is convincing enough to say that the means of data from control setup and experimental setup is significant. We can conclude that the means of the paired sample observations differ significantly. Another method is determining whether the p-value is less than 0.05, which is alpha value. If this is the case, then one must reject the null hypothesis. Notice that the p-value results are too small, and shown here in exponential form. For more clarity, Let's first change the format of the p-value results, from general format to number format.
then increase the decimal places to show more non-zero digits. Now let's make the decision, since 0.000075 is less than 0.05. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. The means of the paired sample observations differ significantly. In summary, we discussed how to use the Excel Analysis Tool Pack to conduct the t-test paired two sample for means. We used the decision rules below. If t-stat is greater than t-critical, then we reject the null hypothesis. Also, if p-value is less than 0.05, then we reject the null hypothesis. Please check out other videos from this channel on how to use the analysis tool pack. The F-test The ANOVA Correlation Regression And many more